Bruce Lawn. Arnold Schwarzenegger, the governor himself, said that heaven is a fantasy? Well, this according to a new story that just came out. Arnold Schwarzenegger thinks the idea of heaven is just a fantasy. The Terminator star, 75, spoke about his thoughts on what happens after death. Um, after actor Danny DeVito, 78, posed a question, what's in the future for us? This is a very daunting thing to believe. If you're in your 70s, bud, okay, if you're in your 70s and this is what you think, this this is what you think, this is how things are going to end. It reminds me of Howard Stern's question to me. Tell me, Governor, what happens to us when we die? I said, nothing. You're six feet under. Anyone that tells you something else is an effing liar. That made no sense. Oh, no, 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 no. How would you know that? How, would, how do you? Why is it the people who are the non-religious speak with the most religious dogmatic tones. How do you know? How do you know? And how do you know anyone that tells you that is an, is an effing liar? I said, we don't know what happens with the soul and all the spiritual stuff that I'm not an expert in, but I know that the body, as we see each other now, we will never see each other again. Wrong again? Darkness. If you're in Christ, you will get a resurrected body. That's kind of the whole like foreshadowing of the resurrection, right? That Pharisees believed in the resurrection. The Sadducees didn't believe. Aren't his worst thing? It sounds like a Sadducee here. I'm, mm. I'm super confused. Okay. So he's saying he doesn't know what happens with the soul. Yet earlier, he says that anyone who tells you that heaven is real, they're an effing liar. That's that's kind of a biz- feels like he's contradicting himself. Okay. The Predator star admitted that speaking about death makes him feel uncomfortable. Well, you don't say, hey, bud. I mean, I would be uncomfortable, too, if I was 75 and didn't believe there was any sort of afterlife. By the way, this is a great movie. Have you ever seen this movie? Mm-mm. They're twins, him and Danny DeVito. That's funny. It was one of the first American movies I've seen. It's called Twins. came out in 1988. Oh, welcome to America. Yeah, thank you, bud. When people talk about... I will see them again in heaven. It sounds so good, but the reality is that we won't see each other again after we're gone. That's the sad part. I know people feel comfortable with death, but I don't. Arnold, have you heard of Jesus? Have you? Why? Why do you feel this way? The former California governor said he had lost 15 friends from back in his bodybuilding world. Yeah, I mean, you, the, bod, I mean the, the, the bodybuilding world, you're definitely losing a lot of friends, especially... At this age, you know, you start getting up into these numbers and you're coming from the bodybuilding world and all the stuff that happens there. Those guys don't, you know, it's a lot of wear and tear on your body with a lot of substances that probably shouldn't go in your body. Okay. Uh, Bodybuilding days last two decades and so the tragic news forced him to shift his perspective on an afterlife. To me, heaven is where I put a person who I love dearly, who is kind, who is generous, who made a difference in my life and other people's lives well you're kind of conflating the idea of of heaven on earth um i keep them in a spot in my head like the front row that you have of all your friends and you always have a good feeling when you think of them elsewhere the actor recently revealed the shocking moment he crushed his ex-wife mario's shivers heart by revealing he was the father of their housekeeper's son darkness darkness Darkness. So you out here getting the maid, banging the maid and knocking her up. But then you're going to tell us there's no heaven. Well, if you're living like that, respectfully. You better hope there's no heaven. You better hope there's no heaven. Because that means there's no hell. (laughs) This man's out here banging the maid (sighs) and and then got to tell his wife? Bro. Oh, his son-in-law is Chris Pratt. Ah, did you know that? I didn't know. Does it say that here? I didn't know. No, that. someone in the comments said that his okay. son-in-law is Chris Pratt. Maybe he needs to go to church with him. In the upcoming three-part Netflix documentary, Arnold Schwarzenegger said that Shiver, 67, confronted him in 2011 through their marriage counselor regarding the issue, according to the son. She wants to know if you're the father, Joseph, the counselor said regarding Joseph, who the father of Joseph, uh, who was born in 1987. I thought my heart stopped to the former movie star, and then I told the truth. Yes, Maria, Joseph is my son. It was probably super obvious. Yeah, I mean, those are some strong genes. <laughs> yeah. Noting that his then-wife was obviously crushed by that. Well, you, you don't say. And he didn't even, like, 
confess. He got caught. He got caught. It was There's like, a whole another human walking around looking like a him. a fourteen year old that looks like you. Oh man, that's Dad. brutal. Yeah. Well, I've, and she was sixty seven. I mean, g- granted, this happened in the nineties. I, I I would hope he has evolved, right, over time. That Sweet he's, guy. you know, he he grew more sensible. He grew more. What was the, hold on? What was the timeline in this? This is a yeah. Wait, because the kid was born in ninety seven. Did I read that correctly? Really? Who was born in nineteen ninety seven? Yeah, but but he she confronted him in two thousand eleven. In two thousand eleven, that's a whole human. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's that, that's, that's what, a teenager. That's like fourteen years old. But check this out. Check this out. You think there's room for for sanctification through that time? Well, not without Jesus. Ain't no sanctification without no, no, Jesus. For sure. You're saying he can become a new person. He 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 may have changed his mind. He may be better. I'm saying that entire time he was holding on to a secret. Meanwhile, not being a father to that kid because the kid was the secret. Or maybe I mean you don't want to presume that. Maybe he was financially taking care of him, but clearly they weren't. Over it. the kid was hanging out with her kids, and she saw the resemblance. Yeah, so they were around each other, but he was obviously <laughs> the, like talking the same. The kid, the kid didn't know that that was yeah. his dad. Let's get on to the Jews. Uh, <sighs> gosh, man, that sucks. Yeah, that sucks. I hope that it. Here's the here's a beautiful part about statements like this, is that when people who are celebrities talk out the side of their neck. Seldom is it contested in the old world, like the old media world, because they would just say something. Mm-hmm. Now he could say something like this, and then there's an article written, and then there's channels like mine talking about it, and maybe the uproar of like saying something this outlandish, and then the pushback and people talk like pushing back on this and a public discourse around it. Maybe these are the sorts of things that can get through to him. Maybe 20 years ago. He could say this kind of stuff. It would be in a vacuum. No one would check him. No one would confront him. No one would challenge him. But now it's like, bro, you can't... You're saying this sort of stuff. And there's there's a couple parts. You miss the irony of how much of a religious person you sound like. Hmm. Right? This sounds like the religious people who are like, X, Y, and Z folks are going to hell. And if you don't do that, right? Like, you sound like that, one. So you sound just as religious and just as certain as the fundamentalist. Two, you're not really standing on any type of moral ground with having to confess to your wife that you banged the maid and now there's a there's another human there that you got caught caught up with and when you live your life like there's no afterlife these are the conclusions of it what good is it to gain the world but lose your soul you gain all the prestige all the influence all the fame all the power he was the he's the governor of california you know and now you're 75 having to talk about how your wife confronted you in marriage counseling, you know, 13 years ago, and you're rehashing this entire story. Uh, you, 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 you got, you got a whole Billy Jean out there, you know, that like, who knows what that relationship was like the first decade. These are the logical conclusions of living your life. Like, like God don't exist. And I think someone like Arnold or anyone that's like, Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. Cool, man. I don't think faith ever required any of us to be sure. I don't think faith ever required anybody to be sure. The whole point of faith is to step out, see God at his word, and attempt to press into that and see what happens. And what you'll discover is that, well, you test God at his word and you discover that God's word stands true. It stands true through all the test of time. And it'll prevent... One, the uncomfortable feeling of death approaching, because I know he knows that. And then two, the uncomfortable reality of living like your own God. And if you you're, you are your own God and you have no moral compass or, or a weak moral compass, then you get into these situations that are now these complicated, bizarre, blended families where your kids are hanging out with your other kid, but they don't know that that's your other kid and your wife has to confront you about it. And he's he he's the, the daggone near legal adult. Like... There's so many of these things that get, that could be prevented. And I'm not saying Christians don't do this sort of stuff either, or self-professed Christians. This stuff happens, but it's definitely more likely to happen if you don't believe there's any consequences and there's no parameters of how you should live your life. Um, yeah, man. So 
I'm a uh, I'm bummed for Arnold. All right. Yeah, he got, yeah, he got a whole Billy Jean out here. You know, he got a whole Billy Jean out here. And if you want to partner with us for as little as five dollars a month to keep us independent, brand free, answering only to you, so we never have to take a brand deal and make goofy commercials like this, consider partnering with us for as little as five dollars a month. Our friends at Genucel Skincare have exciting news to celebrate in 2023. Using Manscaped during my showers after workout has given me much more confidence. And that's where mud water comes in. True Classic has got your back. All thanks to the sponsor of today's video, SayMine.com. Established titles is your opportunity to earn the title of Laird or Lady. Object credit approval rates range from 7.99% APR to 19.99% APR included 0.50% auto pay discount. If you don't want us to make ads with brands you don't care about, sign up for our online community for as little as five dollars a month to keep us independent and ultimately answering to you as our boss you get all sorts of benefits like daily replays of our after party streams exclusive access to our discord community and early access to our podcast interviews all starting for only five dollars a month